everyone, it's James. And Stephanie. And we're here today with a review of the Pleasure Way Lexor TS. Yes, and we caught up with this one at the Hitch House in Ontario. That's right. Um, we used some of our time there to review this. This is based on the ProMaster. Yes, we love that ProMaster. We do. Um, so here we are looking at the coach. And there you are doing your arm wavy. Yeah, well, I'm trying, white to, trying to point out the, there's an awning and a porch light up there. Okay. So the bumpers on this, these are just like the gray plastic. But for 2016, it's an option. You can get body color bumpers. Okay, cool. Now, there I'm pointing out one of the things I really like about Pleasure Way. They're the only ones I know that do this. But they do that running board down there. That uh -huh. They kind of really try to make it look like it's part of the van. So yeah. it's kind of molded and it services yeah. both the front and slider door. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. All right. Um, moving a little further back, more of the running board, okay. and right there is the gravity fill for the freshwater tank. All right, got it. And uh, more bumpers, which I'm assuming would also be painted with that option in yeah. 2016. Yeah, okay. Awning-style windows. Yeah, I really like those. I like that as an option, something we don't have on our RV. No, but they let you keep the uh, window open when it's raining. Yeah, yeah. All right, so now this was at the Hitch House, and they had it staged for sale. So that stowaway box, that does not come with the RV. Okay. But the uh, full-size spare does. Oh, nice. Okay. And it, look at that pass-through storage. I know. It's quite large. Yeah, tons of room back And there. And most, most uh, you know, like uh, ProMasters, Pro they don't have that full-size spare so it's a good thing yeah. and then that storage up there is kind of interesting too yeah a nice I, little i like it addition. i don't think you could get to it with the doors closed though. yeah but still yeah. still good for so now here i am um looking at show close up there we go okay um that is a barbecue quick connect with a uh mm. on off tea and the propane fill so would ours work our grill our work little grill it? no so that's already coming after the regulator and so for that to work properly you need a grill that kind of doesn't have a regulator yeah. on it okay so ours wouldn't yeah. okay so now here's the exhaust for the generator uh-huh but it's right underneath another set of awning windows oh, so yeah. you wouldn't want to run the generator with the windows open yeah that probably wouldn't work out too well not at all It'd be like the time I tried that uh, Calvin Klein's obsession for birds. Hi. I, I don't have anything for you. I'm sorry. I don't know where your parents are. And I don't know why you're not getting food for yourselves because you look quite old enough. This is the oddest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it wants food. All right. Go down, guys. Come on. On my back. Yes. Can you get him off? No, I'm not touching it. Um, all right, I'm gonna go. You should, you should go away. <laughs> Why does stuff like that only happen to you? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it had nothing to do with pleasure way at all. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, but but back on the on the driver's okay. side of the vehicle, that was the uh, exhaust for the furnace, and, okay. uh, the vents for the refrigerator, high and low, and there's a tankless water heater, like the tankless water yes, heater. Yes, yeah, okay, nice. So now here's the service center. There's something I want to show you about this. First, you've got your shore power, cable TV, propane cutoff switch, easier to get to than crawling underneath, yeah. and the city water. Mm -hmm. But when you have things c connected in here, that's not going to close all the way. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it looks like it'd be rainproof, and they do give you that handy little... Clippy Clip, thing right, to hold right. it. But it won't close all the way. Uh-huh. Okay. So, now that's a utility shower right in front of it. Oh, and then okay. this, I, I really like this. Even though it's kind of in a weird place. It's very far forward. Uh -huh. But that's the, uh, that's the dump valves and the, uh, and the connections to dump Oh, with. yeah. That is in a weird place. So, there's something under there I really like. What is it? Oh, it is hose storage. Yeah. Look okay, at that. Good. You could probably put a good 15-foot hose in there. Okay. Um, and the running boards, again, the nice, uh, you know, body color running boards molded up to the uh, front on that side. Okay. So here I am. I guess we're going in. We're going in. All right. Um, but go. the very first thing you're going to find when you go in, before you even get as far as you did there, huh. is uh, something right here. It's a multiplex wiring panel. Buttons. <laughs> it's a whole lot of buttons. <laughs> okay. Yes. And as you can see, you're turning on lights and... Oh, whatever. curve cabinetry. Um, James is a woodworker, so we always appreciate that. Yeah. It's harder to do a curved cabinet. Yeah. Um, and the multiplex wiring, we'll talk a little more about that later. Okay. Saves a lot of weight in the RV. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Corian so countertops. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah. That is a pretty well, six inch deep sink, yeah. it looks like. Yeah. Um, there's a... For 16, I think they have a Corian countertop extension even. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Um, or maybe that's only in some models. I don't know. 
Um, right. Don't quote me on that. So there's a stove top. Looks yep. good. Two burner propane. Looks just like what we have. Yeah. Now they had this one staged for sale, like I've said. So we have like little accessories we're having to yeah. move out of the way here. But they really did a nice job decorating. They I thought, did. The they HMS. did. I wanted to hire them to come do ours. <laughs> <laughs> Convection microwave. Okay. Nice. Um, there is the uh, temperature control for the tankless water heater. Oh yeah, that's right. It was right there. Okay. Yep. Nice deep drawer under deep the microwave. Drawer. Yeah. And um, an electrical outlet, and then there's some stuff under here that we're going to show besides just storage, but we couldn't get it from this angle, so we had to come around to the okay. other side. And there we go. So two shelves, and there's a lip there to keep stuff from falling off on mm -hmm. that upper shelf. Yeah. Uh, the drain and water supply for the uh, kitchen sink, okay, that's expected. And then down below, there's some delivery items, but look to the left there. Take a look left, look, look, look. There you go. Um, <laughs> water pump. Now, that's mounted vertically on a cabinet wall um, instead of on the floor somewhere. That'll either be really loud or really quiet. I don't know which. Okay. So it's different? And... It's a little different. Okay. That's the back of the uh, multiplex wiring panel. You wouldn't want to get water or garbage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay. All right. So... Wardrobe cabinet. Kind of deceiving with the big yeah, door and yeah. then the cabinet's not as yeah, big Yeah, hopefully as... you all caught that when I opened the door. It was real big and then the cabinet's real small and narrow in there. Yeah. So. Um, it's the bathroom on the other side. Yeah, yeah. So you get more room in the bathroom. So but I like that. Yeah, got nice big drawers, and the uh, the table storage is in that. Uh, that uh -huh. cabinet in that Oh, nice and room. a nice bi oh, big mirror. Jeez, yeah. Steph. Time to Speak prep. Speaking of big. Yes. Hello. I'm just gonna be quiet hello, and let you talk about the fridge. <laughs> well, you can just see my enthusiasm here. What do you put in all that space? And that is a three-way fridge, so it will run on propane, mm -hmm. uh, battery power, or 120 volt. Yes. Um, okay. That deep. I, I, I kind of like how you did that. It gives oh. a good feel for how deep the fridge is. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. The controls are across the top, and now, oh, looks like we're going into the bathroom. Okay. So it's a wet bath. It is a wet bath. Um, it's got a china toilet. We like the china toilet, so yeah. it's easier to keep clean. Mm-hmm. Thumbs up for the China toilet, and it's decorated. But I like that shelf. So I don't know if you'd put a cup of coffee or reading material okay, there. Okay, maybe that's TMI, too much information. <laughs> okay, we fine. Don't, we don't care what you're going to put on that shelf. <laughs> All right, there's a medicine cabinet there, and uh, the shower head. Okay. Which is just kind of on the sink. So, uh -huh. you know, typical uh, Class B wet bath. Corian countertop, though. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, that looks um, nice. The soap dispenser does not come with. That was put there by the Hitch House. <laughs> and uh, to show you in this cabinet, I couldn't be in there at the same time. Okay. But uh, not much in there. It's uh, pretty clean. Mm -hmm. And it's just, just what you'd expect. All right. So storage under the bathroom. Now, if you're going to take a shower, you're going to want to put down this little curtain. Yeah. Bada boom. Well, unless you're boondocking, then you don't have to put it down. I would if still put well, it, I would still in the middle of nowhere. I would still put the curtain. I would still put the curtain. I'd like the view. Shower curtain. Yes. Um, just kind of runs on that track on uh -huh. top. Um, but it will kind of cover up the, the sink and the cabinetry there when uh, when the shower curtain is done. Here I am pulling moving it. the shower curtain. So I guess the shower head would just come in from the side of yeah, the curtain. Yeah, you'd have to bring it in. Because you see where around. the shower head is, you have to bring it around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so now here we are. I'm, I'm always looking for places to put like a, a garbage can. Yeah. And it looks like there's a little bit of room back there yeah. for some extra storage. That's how what we've done in DOS Bus. We yeah. have a garbage can behind the driver's but seat. But you probably wouldn't want to put a, a there because of the curtain. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't work. Now, this is a little different from what we've seen in other ProMaster conversions. A different yeah. way to yeah. close the, uh, the cab off. So this is always a challenge, I think, for the manufacturers with the ProMasters, with building on the ProMasters. Because they can't screw into the, right. into the cab. There's the safety code with screwing in those other kinds of blinds. So that's how Pleasure Way tackled the problem. Okay. Um, so pretty deep storage up there um, above the uh, above the driving unit. Um, yeah. And now we're showing here, that's a uh, antenna. That's kind of more traditional up-down sort of antenna, uh -huh. but uh, okay. there's a new antenna option, or I think it's standard actually for 2016 with the Pleasure Ways. Okay. So Pretty we'll, standard. It's a standard cab here that yeah, you're showing. Yeah, we're not going to show much same. about the cab. Except okay. they did give you a nice carpet. Well, we will show, no matter how many ProMasters Steph sits in, the uh, <laughs> the smooth operation of the ProMaster seat seems so, to elude. I'm a little mechanically challenged. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. I'm not good with this kind of stuff. And then but I'm giving up. <laughs> you, you could get up to go to the bathroom if you wanted to. Yes, if I wanted to, while we were driving along. Yes. But we don't recommend doing that. No. All right. Fantastic fan. Um, pretty standard. Not a lot to say there. Uh, in, out, three speeds, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, 11,000 BTU air conditioner. Should be plenty for a coach that size. Oh, okay. um, Does not have a heat strip, 
but uh, it does have the baffles you can direct the air. Okay. So now here we go. Steph's in the back. We're in the lounge. Yes. Area. Look how pretty it is back there with the well, with the pillows. It's, it's all the their decor. decoration. They, I know. Hitch House just did a great job with all their. We RVs should we should really like get them to come decorate. I'm telling you, we should. All right. Okay. So now we're gonna make the bed. All right. And remember, people, I am mechanically challenged. So if I can do this, and she is anybody, she's can doing do it this. without any help or coaching or anything like right. that. Right. My first time. So you pretty much just push a button and that's it. I mean, it's just that easy to yeah. make the bed. Yeah, it's easy. It's like easy like racing a baby. Uh Why can't you do normal things with our grandchildren? <laughs> Amelia and Eli, I'm saying it now. I'm sorry for all future <laughs> crazy schemes you have to be sucked into. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> okay, but the bed really is back to uh, back to the, the pleasure way. Yeah, the bed really is that easy to do. Yeah, and, and comfortable, actually. I yeah. Can... Now, the center section does fill in. I yeah. guess we didn't go the extra mile for you. Sorry. Yeah. Um, but uh, pretty comfy. And it, mm -hmm. since Steph is only five foot four. I am five, five She and can half. sleep both cross coach and long ways. It's like a 24-inch TV there. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty big. Putting the uh, putting the bed back up is... is another push This is button. real time. Real time. Mm -hmm. Boom. Done. Yeah. So now this is interesting to show. With the sofa there, you actually can reach down into that yeah. large pass-through storage area we saw below. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. So now this is, uh, I kind of like you this did. on the back you, window. Yeah, you liked these curtains back there. Yeah, I liked it on the back. Which is interesting because you don't usually like them when people put them on the front windows. Yeah, it's very odd. But you like them in the back. Lots of storage. Again, a very deep cabinet. And that goes one? all the way across the back. Yeah, yeah. That one was a real big cabinet. And um, lots more cabinets here. All over, yep. yep. And there's one thing we do want to show that uh, these are individual cabinets. So like on the sides, uh -huh. you can't. You couldn't something put, long would yeah, not fit in that cabinet. But you could put cabinet. that one, something long across the back, back one. I guess. Uh-huh, sure. So those are the cabinets up there, and uh, yeah. I think that's it. You have to reass... Oh, more uh, more curtains. Mm -hmm. So now, for 2016, um, they just had a press release. They're, they're actually going to be using MCD shades. Yeah, yeah. But, a uh, standard. Weren't they standard? I, yeah. I think so. Yeah, they were standard. Yeah. Um, so that is a curtain back there, and then a uh, pleated shade uh -huh. to a shade off in the 2015. All right. And now, here you are actually operating the awning yeah. windows that we saw before. Yeah, um, okay. We were not, at this time, running the generator, so this yes. is just fine. But they go out a pretty good ways. Like, yeah, they do. Yeah, it's a pretty good angle. Yeah. Decent you, amount of ventilation. Yeah, but you do it manually. There's no button to push on those. Right. <laughs> and and it, eventually, after oh, working around this all day, we couldn't resist trying to goof off with the uh, yeah. with the decor. But look at that decor. It's just so pretty. We really need to have them do ours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Back anyway, to the review. Come here on. we go. All right, so now, nerd stuff. Um, so under this cabinet, mm -hmm. there is a whole bunch of electrical stuff. Now, remember the electrical and the... There's a bunch of relays and stuff. Uh -huh. The electrical in the pleasure way is all multiplex wiring. Saves a lot of weight, but, uh, you know, you're... It, it might not be what you're used to. There's, a, you know, Cat5 wiring that's running there and stuff. Huh. Okay. Um, so that is the... Uh, the Circuit breakers for the 120 volt. All right. Uh, propane leak detector, and that is the uh, the output for the furnace. Okay. Yep. Um, now up top here, that is an inverter uh -huh. that is going to run the uh, the Blu-ray player and the 24 inch TV. Okay. There's a uh, that is powered antenna, uh -huh. and then that plug is actually the refrigerator. Oh, okay. I, I, it doesn't run off the inverter, I don't think, but. Uh -huh. Um, okay. standard old school thermostat. Uh -huh. Everyone should know how to do that. Another multiplex wiring panel. Yeah. In addition to the bed controls, this one also had the uh, gray, black. Oh, um, oh, okay. Right on there. Yep. And the a third multiplex panel. You can see there, they're all labeled. So, you know, you should be able to figure out, um, you know, if you're a do-it-yourselfer type, you should be able to trace it and, and figure out okay. how things work with uh -huh. that. Although I did not try, admittedly, to do that on this uh, unit that wasn't right. ours. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, I rewired your coach for you. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, goodbye. Okay, I know what's happening now. All right, yeah. Now. So I actually like doing this on the carpet better than the creeper because yeah. the, the creeper is like three inches tall, and then this gives me more room. So here we go. First thing, this is not a four season coach. Right. So there are water lines. There's the uh, line from the fresh water tank, and those are uh, hot and cold lines, and the low point drains there. Okay. All right. But look at the tanks under here. Mm -hmm. So that one, the gray one, is the gray tank. <laughs> and uh, that's the fresh water tank. Look how big this thing is. Yeah. How, how big? Oh, uh, gosh. Like I can't remember. I think it's like 29 gallons wow. or something pretty significant. On a ProMaster, that's pretty great. And there's the drain for the, uh, for the fresh water tank. And uh -huh. there's the outlet that goes to the pump. Okay. Um, so now here I'm looking, I'm behind the rear axle. Okay. And that's the rear axle. That's right the rear there. axle, that bar across Okay. There. And this is the generator. So this is just where the generators seem to go in these, uh, in the Pro Master class. Yeah, bins. they do. I haven't seen them anywhere else. It's it, this about, one's back a little ways from. It's, it is. It's back further back. It's not right up against the axle. Uh-huh. Um, but it's at about the same. I'm trying to kind of show that altitude you know in the ground clearance picture it's about yeah. the same height as the axle so you're not losing anything in ground clearance okay now there this is a little different in the pleasure way there is the propane tank it is ahead of the generator but aft of the rear axle oh okay yeah, yeah. so that's why they have the remote fill over on that side okay um battery box uh for 2016 big announcement um pleasure way is going with lithium ion batteries oh, isn't that wonderful that is just huge news and that very is. exciting for pleasure way fans yeah. so now this is not leftovers wrapped up under there <laughs> with the with the tin foil this is something i was actually pretty impressed with any place under there that got like even remotely close to yeah. that exhaust pipe they went the extra step and wrapped it all with the uh, with you know nice. uh, heat insulation so hopefully right. you have no failures very nice so now this is the outlet from the black tank uh -huh. and i was flipping out about this because Why? it looks like it drains right from the bottom of the tank which is the best possible place after doing all my experiments that you could drain a black tank from okay i i didn't believe it so i actually had to go in and try to see from the inside so you're looking in the toilet <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds funny. Yeah, and I'm about to almost lose my phone in the toilet as well. There oh we go. My I had goodness. a light. Really? <laughs> well, and all right. So now here is the roof. They had it where we okay. could see the roof. Um, there's the uh, TV antenna, the fantastic vent. This one had solar. Ooh, the solar option. Very yeah. cool. Very nice. And uh, a vent that's from the bathroom, I believe. And uh -huh. that's about going to wrap it up for all a review right. of the Pleasure Way Lexor TS. Yet another awesome ProMaster option. Yeah. So if you like it, get down to your Pleasure Way dealer and have a look. And I think that's about it for All us. right. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye.